Veltro Ripper, the director of Scared Sacred, Fierce Light, and the upcoming Evolved Love. Here I am at Ground Zero in New York City, and you can see that the, the people have tied white ribbons, and each ribbon says their name and the words, remember to love. A beautiful sentiment, and to me it reflects the zeitgeist of this era, of this 10th anniversary of 9-11. It's time we move beyond those, those uh, reactions of hate, the, the, the collapse into fear, or the explosions into anger, and, and return to the real source, which is love. I have great hope, actually, for this time, because I really do believe that consciousness is evolving, that we're tapping into a deeper and deeper sense of uh, global unity, in this era as the, as the planet shrinks. We're facing so many crises. We're facing an economic crisis. We're facing a climate crisis. And uh, in fact, in many ways, the entire planet is turning into a ground zero. Um, and my hope is that instead of contracting into fear in the face of this crisis, we can actually learn to open our hearts. When I came here 10 years ago, uh, it was just a, a few days after the towers fell and the smoke was still rising. And I, uh, I, I began to practice a, a, a meditation technique called Tonglen, which in Tibetan means sending and receiving. And in this practice, you actually learn to open your heart in the face of crisis. You uh, literally imagine that you are breathing in suffering in the form of a, of a dark smoke, drawing it right into your heart. And when it reaches your heart, it explodes in a flash of light, and you send out on your out-breath compassion. So you breathe in suffering, you breathe out compassion, breathe out love, breathe out care. It's a very profound practice. In, uh, Pema Chodron calls it air conditioning suffering. When I was doing it here at, in, in New York City, right in the wake of 9-11, the smoke from the Twin Towers was still rising. I emerge above ground at Canal Street, the farthest the subway runs these days. A heavy odor tells me I'm getting closer. It's an acrid stench of burning buildings, a toxic stew of asbestos, plastic, PCBs, dust, and ash. Ash. I cough on the thick air and realize with a jolt that I'm breathing particles of the dead, like all New Yorkers these days. The practice of breathing in suffering and out compassion becomes quite literal. That fall, I spent a lot of time in Union Square Park, just up the road here, where the people of New York gathered to mourn, to grieve, and again and again, I heard and saw written the, the, uh, the words, our grief is not a cry to war. So today, let's, let's, let's turn that grief, let's turn that mourning into a cry to love. <laughs>